All right, hey everyone, my name is Vicki Matsis, and I'm one of the founders of Media Reform South Carolina, the nonprofit that brings OM Radio to your airwaves. OM Radio is on your FM dial at 96.3 FM, streaming online, our free mobile app, and we have a weekly podcast where we highlight the best shows that we produced in the studio that week. We have over 30 local DJs that create unique content for OM, and we've been on the air 24 seven since August 1st, 2015. We're located at the refinery, and last year we had 287 in-studio guests share their song or story with us on the air. We are nonpartisan, secular, and we believe that democracy cannot flourish when only a few have access to the media. We aspire to be a forum for voices and points of view that are typically underrepresented. Anyone can submit a demo or an idea for a show when we provide the studio, an engineer to run the board, we record, edit, and archive all of our content. We have a small but mighty team. I'm a part-time executive director. Zandrina Dunning is our program coordinator, and Grace McNally is our first full-time station manager. Yes! <laughs> we are a female-run nonprofit, and our board is over 50% female. We are a scrappy grassroots radio station that started with $50 in the bank. We raised $10,000 on Indiegogo to get started, and we are listener and community supported. Our first studio is at the top of Joseph Floyd Manor, then we moved to Workshop, and now we're at the Refinery. Here we are on the roof, a group of ragtag musicians with no broadcasting experience trying to install this radio antenna for the first time. Did you kick? Sometimes it works. A little bit about our history, a small group of concerned citizens met monthly in 2010 to discuss issues of media reform and consolidation in South Carolina. We were worried about the lack of regulation and media literacy in our communities, as well as large media mergers and the effects it would have on journalism, local news, and music outlets. We learned about a historic opportunity to apply for a low-power FM radio station. The Local Community Radio Act of 2010 gave nonprofits the chance to apply for a spot on the FM dial, the first time in decades. We prepared for years and submitted our application, and much to our surprise, they gave us a license to broadcast. <laughs> and then we were like, what do we do now? <laughs> One of the reasons we felt it was so important to have a local station was because the media landscape in our country had lost so much diversity over the past 30 years. From 1934 to 1996, there were strict regulations on how many television, radio, and newspapers any one person could own, and it was very limited, and it naturally created a lot of diversity in news production and ownership. In 1983, American media was owned by over 50 different companies, and the Telecom Act of 1996 removed all ownership restrictions so that the free market could have control, and now six companies regulate over 90% of all the media we consume in America. The Fairness Doctrine used to require broadcasters to discuss issues of public importance and present opposing views, which exposed people to different ways of understanding an issue and it increased tolerance and understanding but that has since been abolished, and now the loudest voice is often the one that gets the most attention. And another factor that influences the media we consume is our filter bubble. It's an algorithm on your phone and computer that's trying to predict what you're gonna to wanna to see or hear so that you'll stay on their platform longer. But the problem with this is that you're not exposed to new ideas, new music, new conversations, or things that might challenge and broaden your way of thinking. And here's where OM Radio comes in. OM Radio can help break your filter bubble because it is not predicting what you will like or what you want to hear. It's unique and it's original and it's your community reflecting back to you. It is locals sharing their passion, their music, their ideas with our listeners. And more importantly, it exposes you to new sounds, thoughts, and members of your community you might never come in contact with otherwise. And while we can never go back to the days of having the diversity of ownership and media that we once had, we can create something beautiful amongst the noise. And OM Radio is our solution to the mass media consolidation in our city and our country. It's our chance to have our voices heard and keep radio in Charleston unique and independent. We love our local musicians and our local music scene and play their songs and other music you would never hear on other radio stations. Some music shows we produce are Rappy Hour, Divine Dance Party, and Rimo Latino. We also have incredible public affairs programming that highlights local issues and tells the stories of everyday citizens with shows like Black History Talks, Public Verse, and Just Imagine. And we have come a long way thanks to this community and your support. We recently celebrated our eight year broadcast anniversary. Yeah, thank you. It is huge because there were many days when we weren't sure if we were going to make it. 
And last year, we brought an engineer to fix the issues we've been having with the FM signal. We upgraded all of our equipment, and it sounds better than ever. But if you don't live in Charleston or have a radio or have a good signal, you can always listen anywhere in the world with our free mobile app and our online stream. We archive all of our content. You can see what song is playing and the set list for every show that we have ever played. This is our coverage map and our terrestrial reach is just under 1 million. Radio is still the most used medium in the world and the most democratic. Nielsen studies found that radio reaches 92% of the American population every week and TV only reaches 88%. You don't need to be literate or have a subscription to tune in and be connected to what's happening and the place that you live. And Ohm Radio would not be here without the support of individual donors and underwriters. Underwriters are local businesses that donate to the station in exchange for an on-air message that our listeners hear. So if you're a local business looking to expand your reach, we might be a great fit to help you spread the word. Ohm is an electrical unit of resistance, and that was what inspires us to do the work we do every day. We are resisting corporate piped in radio that doesn't reflect where we live or the issues we're facing. And spelled another way, OM is the sound that everything makes. The airwaves are a public utility and we take our obligation to serve the public seriously and we are honored for the opportunity to do so. So how can you support? You can tune into the station, have a show on air, share your favorite song or story, check out our programming, listen to the archives. You can donate at ohmradio963.org or text ohmradio to 44321 to support our mission of keeping radio unique, independent, and commercial-free in Charleston.